When it comes to marketing high-quality beef, sometimes the best customer is right in your backyard. When Bart Beatty came back to the family farm near Sumner, Nebraska, he decided to do more with their commercial Angus herd than simply raise commodity cattle. And so we started looking at ways we could add value and so we started talking with local feedlots about buying our calves ranch direct and um, we we made that transition and uh, sell all of our calves uh, ranch direct uh, to the feedlots now and, and work very closely with uh, with the local feedlot. Their focus on consistency and carcass quality has kept the feedlot Will Feed Incorporated at Cozad, Nebraska coming back for more. Mainly like we're looking at bulls that these offspring are going to be out of. I, ribeye, soundness is one, ribeye and then marbling on the genetic side and then soundness, you know, I try to get a sound product to the feed yards so that they're, you know, consistently happy and they consistently keep coming back to us for the, for our product. Selling cattle just down the road cuts health problems and transportation costs and provides valuable feedback. The producers have used input from the feedlot to improve profitability in the herd. Well, I think it's a two-way street. I, I think you get information back from the feedlot on how your cattle perform. Um, the feedlot also gets the opportunity to buy cattle that they know and they can source year in and year out. They know the quality, they know how they perform in the feed yard. They can help make genetic recommendations for herd improvement, um, animal health or herd health improvement. And so, it, to me, that's, that's been a real big change in our operation is just uh, allowed us to um, seek out market opportunities within our herd that uh, before 30 years ago that we didn't have that opportunity to do. But their focus goes far beyond the feedlot. Genetics and management strategies are all catered towards meeting the desires of the consumer. If we don't provide a good quality product at the grocery store at the consumer level, then you know, we're not going to be rewarded for that and our animals won't be rewarded for that. But they are rewarded for placing an emphasis on the next destination, whether that's the feed yard or the dining room table. I'm Cindy Campbell.